Let us totally see where Nate is. There he is. And we're going to um, rescue Nate. What do we need to capture? No, we're just going to rescue him. No usable non-prisoner bed. Okay. So we're going to have to make a non-prisoner bed. Uh, at the moment, we could probably just put down a sleeping spot real quick. Um, because that's not too much of a problem. There we go. Nate, you can now do the thing that I told you to do. Uh, rescue. Rescue Nate. Okay, he's currently rescuing Nate. He has that. That's his priority. He's on the move. He sees that Nate needs some help. Uh, he is he is the optimist. Evan the optimist uh, is, is our Vlad here. And Nate is uh, is gonna is gonna totally get saved here. Uh, we're gonna carry him back again. And we also are going to there's a little bit of stuff there. But we don't need it. It's still a slag chunk. Chunk of stuff. There's, uh, there's lots of like rhinos and things out here. Which is not good. There you go, right? Vlad is saving him. Oh my hero! Is is says Nate. A Muffalo Shaman from the Grey River people is visiting the colony. He's named El Boyo. Thank you for that. I I've tried I've right clicked and it and dismissed incoming letters like several times now, and it's still just like, no, what? You're doing what? Huh? How annoying. Uh okay, so how is Vlad doing? He has he's urgently hungry, actually. We've put him on a on a task here. He might have be having some problems. Um he needs to get some food inside him. But he's going to do that once he's once he's saved. There's uh, there's good old uh, Al Boio, who's uh, who's doing a good job, uh, sort of hanging out, having a good time. We're currently uh, doing quite a lot of mining as well, getting this area all kind of uh, finished up, which is fine temporarily, I think. Uh, there's nothing nothing intensely going on, but having another person means that we're going to be able to hopefully sort ourselves out a bit easier. Now, Vlad. You're going to just carry on holding things, aren't you? I know you're going to eat some. Just eat some raw rice. Just like, oh, man. Wow. Okay, well, do that. I mean, you know, you may as well. How do I set up some things? Add bill. Butcher creature. Oh, man. Wow. Whew. Woo. Um, so, not suspended. Do X times. Uh, do until you have. Wow, I have no idea. Ugh, okay, well that's fine. I mean, we'll just let it do it once. Whatever. Cook uh, simple meals. We have some simple meals going. If we do, uh, if we do until we have uh, ingredient search ranges is fine. Do until you have. I don't know. I mean, tens are not a good number. That's I mean, meat and vegetarian. Uh, apart from corpses, obviously. Apart from apart from the human meat, because we are not cannibals. That everything else is totally fine, uh, and it's a simple meal until yeah okay that's fine, fine lovely right okay that's good that's that's now we've now got uh, a situation sorted out he's coming back here with some with some rations oh he's giving oh this is amazing look at this he's feeding the package survival meal to Nate which is great Nate is sleeping uh, he's currently being force fed some food by by Dennis here Dennis is now treating Nate oh here we go right. I wonder what the chance of success is. Ah, poor quality treatment. Uh, zero percent chance of good quality. <laughs> God damn, that's some good treatment right now. Um, oh, uh, okay, so what's going on here? So let's go to the health and stuff. It's extreme pain. Um, everything has been bandaged, but poorly. Uh, we've still got bruises and blood loss in the whole body and stuff. And they might die. They might die because we're all bad at our jobs. We're all bad at what it is that we do. Um, so that could be that could be a significant problem. Nate's up. Nate's up and around. Uh, great. What's Nate doing? Are you are you part of the team, Nate? No, you're not. Okay. Well, we saved you, Nate. We saved you, and you've just buggered off. You're you're poorly injured, and you're just. But, well, fine, whatever. Screw you. Man, that's not good. Um, we should probably have captured him and, like, stuff, but we don't have prisoner areas, so we can't really do that. These simple meals are coming through nicely here. Dennis is getting that those orders filled, which is great to see. Fox is getting some things cut down here, which is nice. And it's all going, you know, it's actually going really well, surprisingly enough. Randy, uh, Randy Random has certainly not impaired us in any way shape or form at the start of this fantastic game 
Um, but things may change. Things may indeed change. We've got five simple meals now, which is good. Vlad is currently hauling all that growing stuff away. We've got like an absolute butt ton of food now. So we don't have to have those orders on for a long time now. So we're going to just let Vlad do his thing. He's going to take all that stuff up there, haul it all up, and then hopefully he'll be uh, heading to sleep now because uh, he was just getting that, that job finished. And those simple meals, my God, they're going to be eaten. They're going to be eaten. Do we have any more rations? It looks like the rations are all gone now. Uh, and this is all stuff that has, is on the haul list, I guess, at the moment. We can probably cancel these actions. We don't need to worry about it as much. Get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. Uh, we can take these all off as well. There, there's, 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 now, there's now not as much to do for these guys, which is good. We've got plenty of local resources well i say plenty i've got i haven't actually got that much like in the way of much <laughs> what we need to do is try to get a way of getting this steel slag into a, a different type of steel slag are you gonna just carry on making meals here it looks like you are um which is fine we're gonna we're gonna eat some of these meals that you've made and you'll carry on going until there are 10 which actually hopefully you'll finish your job today um which would be pretty cool we actually have some raw steel there like ready to go which is great. Vlad's still doing some hauling there as well. We lost Nate. We lost Nate. Ah, oh, dear, right oh dear. Um, do we want to make ourselves some? I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let, let's 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 do this. Let's cancel like this order and this order, and let's get them to mine this out like here, and then like this to there. Because if we just get that bit out, then we can take it downwards instead. And then we can start, like, sort of mining and looking in that area. Maybe making, like, a panic room or something. Um, because at the moment, I kind of feel like the most important thing for us... What the hell is he doing? Are you being sick? He is literally vomiting. What the hell? <laughs> food. He's got food poisoning. Okay. There's food poisoning involved of Vlad. He is, he is currently slow. He's still doing his hauling job, bless him. He's still getting the job done. But, my God, he is being viciously sick there. That was that was pretty violent, uh, and now it's sort of just sick on the floor. <laughs> oh man, Vlad, you, you poor son of a bitch. Um, okay, so that's now been taken care of. We're going to get our third solar panel in here because we can, and that's fine. Two batteries are are sitting around having a good time. We could probably do with moving these batteries, but I don't really mind too much. We're going to start thinking about putting just like a few rooms, just like dotted around. I actually want to change the <laughs> this room now that I've done it already um, because we need to have some more room. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to deconstruct this. We're going to put the, the, the room a little bit back to the way it was uh, ever so slightly. We're going to deconstruct this one as well. Just get rid of both of them. Get them out of here. Don't need them. Don't need to worry about it. Uh, Vlad is still hauling, although he has been a little bit sick. Vlad, oh, your shadow is so beautiful. Your shadow is so beautiful. Look at that. He's really getting getting the job done. It's amazing. Is he hungry still? Is he still sick? He's still got food poisoning. What's his thoughts? He's actually good. <laughs> Surprisingly, he's actually he's actually okay. He's now hauling some wood down as well. Okay. It looks like I, I'm I'm wondering about this whole the whole research thing. Um, I kind of feel like maybe we need to have all these different things like set up. A lot of this is just purely down to like steel items, and I'm thinking that maybe actually we need the research post like more than anything else. Um, so maybe that is something that we will that we will take care of. How big is this actual room? It's eleven. Right. Okay. Uh, how do we get rid of that? If that was even a, a zone, get out of here. Right. Uh, one of the moons of this planet has orbited in front of the sun and the eclipse has begun. Thank you very much for the eclipse information. We don't need to worry about it too much, thankfully. But still, what we're going to do is we are going to set the walls back again to how it should be. By putting... Should we just, like, steel conduit walls? Let's, get, so let's start getting some power sorted out with this place. We're going to go like that. Uh, and then what we're going to do is put the steel auto door. Yeah, why not? I mean, we can just we can just put one in. There's, there's going to be power now, so we may as well. 
Um, do we want to just like delete all this stuff? No, we don't. We're going to have this room just sort of stay as it is. Uh, we're going to also... Oh, there, there we can. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. We're just been just wasting all of this, all these materials, like completely. Man, oh man. Um, right, okay. So wooden conduit walls, we can, we can actually make them absolutely fine. It's not a problem. That's really annoying. Okay, so we need like we need like little rooms. So let's just do that. Uh, no, not like that. Cancel that. Boop. Nope. Cancel this one. Okay. So we want the room to be five by five. So we're gonna have this go down five. One, two, three, four. No, this is again this is wrong. Man oh man. Right. One, two, three. So one, two, three, four. So it needs to be one more. And then one, two, three, four, five. So one more. Like that. One. One, two, three, four. Uh, what? What? <laughs> one more, even more. There we go, right. So this is now this is now a room. Oh yeah, this is it. Right, we're cooking with gas. We are cooking with gas. Seven by seven. Doesn't work. But never mind. There we go. Right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We're making some rooms. This is great. We're getting we're getting it done. Uh, the job the job is on. Uh, we still need to mine some of this stuff that's going on here. Uh, but that's fine. We can get that done. Uh, if we have like just some little five by five rooms, just all sort of like tucked in in this area, maybe. How are we gonna? Ha oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't matter. The important thing is that the rooms are like here. If we just have them go all the way down, actually, I guess just have like some more, like another one here. Uh, this is fine. There we go. Great. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Lovely. Same thing again. There we go. Fantastic. Right. So there are now four rooms. Actually, we don't need that last one, do we? We can. Yeah, we can. We can just like put in a room when when we want to put in a room. So that's fine. Uh, it's not letting me cancel it. Cancel. 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 Okay. Right. That's good. That's that's that situation taken care of. We're also going to put in another growing area. Um, actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will change this growing area and make it do oak trees instead. And that's going to be the area that we put in oak trees instead because we've got some farmland we could probably do with... Actually, that's probably not the best, the best, most sensible thing to do. Um, strawberries. Let's go with strawberries instead. We'll make another uh, growing area, growing zone, um, and we'll make it into like a double wide one, like this, 19... Uh, it's not gonna click. That's not gonna work. Well, it's, yeah, no. Tell you what, we'll, we'll just do it. It's fine. Nineteen by nineteen. That's a nice large area. Uh, and then this, if we just get rid of that, this will be the oak, oak tree. Oak trees. I don't think it really matters what type of tree it is. So we'll just do that. There we go. That's a nice big oak tree area to get these 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 kind of like tree situations sorted out. Um, we're also going to now put down uh, where are we structures. Wooden conduit walls. These should be. They should all be conduit walls. Are they all conduit walls? I don't know if I put conduit walls here. I'm not sure. Oh god. Uh, oh no. This is not. This is not a good situation. Uh, no, we, we didn't. Well. Oh well. Never mind. We'll just have to run a power line all the way down. That's fine. I'm not. I'm not worried. Uh, power. Power conduit. If we just go like this. Whoa. And then that's just a massive power line that we're just gonna have goes all the way down. It's not a problem at all. It's totally fine. Look, Dennis is on the case. We can put power lines in, in already existing walls. It's just like a long way of doing it. They don't look any different or anything like that. So that's fine. Okay, so we've got that taken care of. We're also going to put down the... Uh, we'll just do wooden conduit walls because we can. Space already occupied. But, oh, it's because it's, it's actually currently being built. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to give ourselves some damned furniture... Uh, the, the the entrances will be over here, so if we put the bed like there... Uh, hang on a second, that's, that's not what we want to do. Those are the ones we want to do. Uh, can we just deconstruct this one? Yeah, good. There we go, right, and then we're going to have a lamp on the other side of the room. For all of them. And then we're going to have a 
little steel table uh, in this side of the room. There we go. We're going to have a uh, equipment rack in the room. Why not? Oh god, that's not right. Deconstruct that. Deconstruct. Oh, sorry. Cancel that. I think it needs to be that way around. There we go. Um, which can just be like in that corner there. There we go. Oh, this is this is it. This is this is it. Right. We also need to give ourselves a little bit of deliciously beautiful plant pot. I'll make it steel because apparently steel is the thing. We're gonna have a little flower just next to the next to actually at the end of the bed. It's, it's probably a just putting loads of flowers in now. <laughs> Cancel that one. Cancel that one. Cancel that one. There we go. That's a nicely decorated room. The only thing we need to do now is make sure that we have little stools as well. Um, there we go. Fantastic. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful situation. Um, we can put in some more seats as well. Let's just put in two seats and everybody so they can have some company if they want to eat with one another. That's fine. God damn. Hot dog. Hot dog is what they say. Are there any trees around or if we just like cut down a million trees? No, there are trees. There are trees. Uh, if we go with orders and we go chop wood, we find the nearest ones to us are these ones over here, I guess. I'll just let you just sort of like chop down all those guys and this one here as well. Uh, and then that one there. Must. Oh, who knows? That's fine. This this is this is good. We have a good situation on us. Plenty of materials for everybody to get themselves sorted out. These rooms are going to be amazing. 14 constructions are missing materials, which I think is the steel situation. So if we go into... Um, I'm not going to change the thing that we want. I'm going to just uh, mine some steel. Because cause I can, apparently. There we go. So they'll just essentially what will happen is they'll just be able to build it just when they can. Uh, we also need to do a little deconstruct here as well because um, that now is in the wrong place. So if we deconstruct all of these, then that is that's taken care of. Fantastic. Yes. Oh, this is great. In fact, we should probably make this into a power circuit, shouldn't we? Just in case we do lose like the power line at some point, like that. And then it's just like a little, a little. A little circuit type thing. Oh, yeah. Love it. This is brilliant. Oh, you can get a wind turbine as well and a power switch, which you can switch power on or off at the switch. This is amazing. How cool is this game? Right, so we also need to put in some uh, some doors. And why not have... Oh, we're just going to have regular doors. Uh, we're going to have them made out of... Uh, I mean, granite, we've got some granite knocking about, so we'll just have nice, nice posh granite doors. Um, they're going to be just in this little area here, and here, and here. So there we go, that's the doors. That's the area where people get in, just next to the plant pot. Oh, these rooms are really nice. Nice little symmetrical rooms that they've got going on here. I think they seem to be doing well. Getting, like, the basics set up at least. There, yep, yeah, there goes, the wood's going in now. Finishing off the, the remainder of the wood that was required in this room. The power lines are all working well as well, which is good. Fox is like, I'm having this room. God damn it, I'm having this room, which is fine. She can have that room. That's okay. I don't blame her. Um, is she getting some other materials? Are there any other materials that, that we need? Whoa, where's she going? Oh, my God. Where are you going, Fox? Hauling steel to stool. Oh, 49 steel over here. Hot dog. Well, there is steel over there, so that's that's totally fair enough. But, uh, but that's good. So we now are going to have like these fantastic rooms all kind of set out. I'll tell you what, the other thing that we need is flooring. Because we currently don't. And I'm kind of thinking that maybe one of them are going to be like, a bit posh. Maybe. What do we think? Marble tile? No. Slate tile? Granite tile. We've got those of granite. So we'll just use some granite tiles on the floor. Oh yeah, the contrast is going to be divine. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Let them just try and get on with things. More powers going in there as well now, which is great. We need to chop this bloody tree down um, that's just in this room for no reason. Uh, please get that done because that'll be good. There we go. Is that floor? Does floor make a difference actually? It doesn't seem to. I think it should make a difference to the, how they're feeling though. Um, so that's fine. We'll probably actually have like a three gap here and then have like other rooms going the other way and sort of facing the other side. 
Um, but we're probably going to also recreate this setup with a third, a third turret as well. Um, that solar panel. Oh man, <laughs> it's really cool. It's all going really nicely, actually. I'm I'm very pleased with how everything is is coming along. There still we still have 77 construction materials missing, but our team should be just taking care of it. Vlad is doing some hauling. He's getting all those pieces of wood together. I think he's feeling better now, actually, as well. He looks... He's got a bad back. He's a bit frail. He is an elderly, though. He's, um... How old is he now? Character 70. He's a 70-year-old a who's had 116 years in, in cryosleep. That's what that second number means. Our colony is actually consisting of some quite older, older people. Um, apart from Dennis here, who's 28, he's actually the same age as me, and he's 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 doing his job well, um, which is awesome to see. We're going to deconstruct these sleeping spots in a minute. In fact, I wonder if it'll make them work any harder if we delete get rid of them like now. Uh, I think Vlad, I'm getting rid of yours now because you can come and claim one of these beds as your own. Because my friend, you deserve it. Uh, we're also gonna, actually going to put in a couple more of these stools. Uh, because I kind of feel like I want more steel stalls. Make these rooms a bit nicer. That one's really dark in there. I wouldn't want to sleep in that one. Oh, maybe sleeping in the dark is a good thing. Hmm, who knows. Four hours in the morning. Where did Vlad go? Vlad! Vlad! Consuming package survival meal. What, over here? Oh my god, he's going, he's, he's going all the way over here to get a package survival meal. Okay, Vlad. That's fine. If that's really what you want to do with your day today, then you can you can go on a hike and find yourself some bloody food. Let's get the speed up a little bit on the game to try to let these guys wake up and then we'll bring it back down again. There we go. Where are you going, Fox? Are you going for a, a massive trek for a survival meal as well? You are. You bloody are. <laughs> oh, God. These people. Right. He's now just eating raw food because, you know... That's fine. Oh, I, I think it's because we've we haven't got any any meals currently ready and made. Okay, well we can we can fix this problem. I know the first thing we're going to need to have is this cooking stove because that's just the one thing that seems to be required. Uh, so if we get that to start off with, once that's been taken care of, we can make some more of those simple meals, and then everyone will be better off and not having to walk a kajillion billion miles to sort anything out. We haven't got any... We've got plenty of silver over here, though. Look at this. Silver times 500 and by 55. It's more there. Like, ah, uh, 61. Man, that is a lot of steel. This room's almost done, look. Oh, man. He's just putting that, that stall down here, look. Fox is doing well with, with, with her room as well, with the, auto, the, the, power, the, the door. It's not power door, actually. Vlad's in. Vlad... Oh, God. Okay, pause the game. A local squirrel has gone mad. It will attack everyone it sees. Now, I right-clicked on that to get rid of that bloody annoying memo thing, but where it is, where this mad squirrel is... Aha! Are you the mad squirrel? No, that's a boom rat. They, they, they explode. <laughs> um, I don't know where it is. Just keep your eyes open, guys. Keep your eyes open. I can't see trimming. Oh no, Dennis! What's happening to you, Dennis? Oh, yep. Okay, there it is. You've been watching the Gaffcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more And that you really like me So You've been watching the Gaffcast We hope you have enjoyed the show Don't forget to check out All of our other videos